Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. I'm back doing pick a card readings, guys. Apologies, I've been away. I have been doing a lot of things. I've been doing client sessions. Client sessions keep me very busy. Any of those of you who booked me for a session, you know that yeah, I put a lot of work into my sessions. I also had a very short trip to Malaga, Spain. I'll share with you a little clip of me walking kind of near the Picasso Museum. I have this footage that I want to turn into a little Picasso Masters episode, but it's just, where do I find the time? It has been busy. So when I got back, I became sick. I was sick for yeah, a good week at least. Uh, it was about seven to ten days, you know, it took a while to recover. And since then I have just been getting on top of everything. I woke up this morning and I was like, okay, today I can either do, I've got time and energy to do either an archetypes video or a pick a card. And my first thing in the morning was no, pick a card. I really want to do pick a card. So I will do the next archetypes episode, perhaps the week after. My big fantasy would be to do one archetype and one pick a card every week. But yeah, at the moment I've kind of just got time and energy for one or the other. Let's see how I go. Let's see if I can get, you know, crank up my routine again and, and get into shape so I could do both. But equally, you know, if I can, I can. If I can't, I can't. Um, I also want to thank this incredibly kind viewer for sending a donation for the channel. It's such a big, generous donation. Thank you with all my heart. I just want you to know that I'm gonna put that into a new microphone. I wanna get a new microphone and I've been looking at, you know, what other coaches online use and there's this really good one that I think I'm gonna get that. It's gonna be really cool. And because the majority of comments I get from the, um, from the videos is that people like, I don't know, people, people say this a lot and I don't know why it is. I can kind of see astrologically actually why this is happening, but um, people say they like the sound of my voice or that it's calming and things like that. So yeah, I think it is important that I have a very good microphone. It's really worth investing in a good microphone. So I'm gonna get one. Thank you for that donation. That's, gonna, that's where that money is gonna go. Uh, today's topic, we're gonna have a look at what did you intend for this incarnation? I just scribbled it down a moment ago. And this line comes from a conversation that is being had between Bill Moyers and Joseph Campbell. I have been watching these two talk. I think I'm up to episode, I'm finishing episode five and I think I'm about to start episode six. So that is how I unwind in the evenings with a bit of dinner, I watch a bit of Joseph Campbell speaking. So I'm going to press play and I'm gonna shuffle. Now you're gonna see these two little areas here. When you hear Joseph Campbell speaking, he's gonna be talking about what are you experiencing? And he's gonna talk about what you might become, okay? He's gonna talk about both. And I thought these are the areas that we could shuffle on. And this is gonna be a collective reading. There's gonna be messages for everyone. Okay, so just see what message is for you. And not every message will apply, but just see what comes. And hopefully this space is a little bit of sacred space. Hopefully this pick a card space, what I certainly intend with this pick a card space is that this is a place where you can feel free, you can relax, and you'll hear Joseph Campbell talk about the concept of the bliss station, you know, and that's why I love pick a card. For me, pick a card is a bit of fantasy. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of, you know, and I, I think what I like most about it is I get to see how another person thinks. And that's something I really enjoy. I just like seeing when I watch, I watch many pick a cards. I love them. And I really enjoy, you know, getting getting the opportunity to see how someone else 
thinks and approaches life. All right, well, let's, I'll press play. Let's listen to Joseph Campbell chatting with Bill Moyers. And while he does that, I am going to shuffle. What does it mean to have a sacred place? This is a term I like to use now as an absolute necessity for anybody today. You must have a room or a certain hour a day or so where you do not know what was in the newspapers that morning. You don't know who your friends are. You don't know what you owe to anybody. You don't know what anybody owes to you but a place where you can simply experience and bring forth what you are and uh, what you might be. This is the place of creative incubation. And uh, first you may find that nothing's happening there, but if you have a sacred place and use it and take advantage of it, uh, something will happen. This place does for you what the plains did for the hunter for them, the... the whole thing was a sacred place, do you see? Mm -hmm. But most of our action is economically or socially determined and does not come out of our life. I don't know whether you've had the experience I've had, but uh, as you get older, the, the claims of the environment upon you are so great that you hardly know where the hell you are. Uh, what is it you intended? You're always doing something for, that is required of you. Uh, this minute, that minute, another minute. Where is your, your, your bliss station, you know? Mm. Try to find it. Get a phonograph and put on the records the music that you really love. Even if it's corny music that nobody else respects. I mean, the one that you like or the book you want to read. Like, Get it done and um, have a place in which to do it. Uh, there, it, you get the thou feeling of life. These people had it for the whole world that they were living in. All right. So, I've shuffled some cards. Let's see what we have for starters. Now, he talked about what you are experiencing, what you might become. Let's have a look at what you are experiencing. You did, you would have noticed I would have moved a card here. I originally wanted this here, but then as I picked up the next deck, I thought, no, this, this one will be better here. So we'll, we'll see what happens with all of that. Don't know why that happened, but there we go. All right, what you are experiencing. Let's kind of check in to your life and just see what life is. And I like how Joseph Campbell talked about, you know, that, yeah, as we age and life can become hard, you know, uh, and therefore that's why you must have a sacred space each day where you're just totally free, you know, and there's no pressure on you. There are no demands on you. There's none of that. I really love that part of the conversation he's having with Bill Moyers. Let's see what's happening in your world and we'll shuffle more cards if we need to as well. So what you are experiencing. Okay, we've got here the compensation conspiracy. Interesting. Compensation. We've got a lady, she's looking up at perhaps what she'd like to be. It's really interesting what you are experiencing. We've got a visual depiction of these two tags here. What you are experiencing versus what you would like to be. Compensation, okay. Judication. Number 30, we've got number 10 here. Ace of Cups. Gosh, that's so beautiful. Well, in the now, you've definitely got a heart full of love. 
that's for sure. The outer circumstances might be quite challenging though. But we'll take a look, we'll dig around, we'll see if we need to dig deeper. Eight of Pentacles. You're working, you're working hard. So it's a busy time for you. You're definitely in a really busy time. I'm also getting a weariness. Some of you might be, and I've been working with quite a few clients actually who are in the process of separating from their partner. You know, this can be about that. But I sense that deep down, you're, you're doing just fine because you're on a spiritual path. I don't know how people do life without the spiritual path. I really don't. You know, I don't know how people do life without time out for themselves, like what Joseph Campbell was talking about, where you have an hour per day, just an hour per day, where you are on your own, not a care for the world, you're just being free, you're being yourself. It's vital, especially with what you've got going on here. You are really, really busy. Okay, so what you are experiencing, this is, yeah, this is quite full on here. Okay, let's, let's dig a little bit more. Some of you could be leaving a job as well. Um, this could be that type of thing, but there is, it does feel like I'm getting a sense of leaving, uh, is what I'm getting. You're leaving something behind. You're leaving an old pattern, an old dynamic, an old way of being, an old version of you that I don't want to be that way anymore. There's something about your recognizing that what you're experiencing in your life, yeah, there is something here that's not working, you've outgrown, but it's your time to go up kind of thing. You've, you've, you've mastered, you've you kind of mastered this plane of experience. There's something where you're circling through this. You're like, oh, I know how to be this lady, but I don't know how to be that one. You know, but there's something you're circling on a thing here, but I do get the sense that you're, because of your hard work, I think you are, there's a lift off here. I don't know, you're going to enter a new circle, a new cycle, a new chapter. Because you've done this level a lot. <laughs> so there is, I, I do get a sense of some form of graduation here because we've got an Ace of Cups here. Let's take a little bit more of a look. So I want to shuffle on, what do I want to take a look at? I'll use this deck. I want one for the Ace of Cups and one for the Eight of Pentacles. One for the Ace of Cups, okay. And one for the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, all right. Maybe it wants to be upside down. We'll see if that's relevant. It might not be, but we will take a look. So Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups. That's funny because I thought I did see this at the bottom of the deck. This really wants to be here. You have a lot of options in front of you. There's something about, and there's a release here. Look at that. It's like your own love is releasing you from whatever this old dynamic and pattern has been. Okay, that's in the past now. So it's something about a lot of options are opening up at this time. Great. Seven of Cups, really good energy there. Let's see what this is. Okay, this was upside down. Do we take it upright or upside down? All right. It's a two of cups and I wanted to shuffle on this eight of pentacles. So it might be that you've been working on your heart, your heart chakra. You've been working on love, on experiencing more love. It did come reversed. So 
let's take it as reversed actually uh, even though I usually read these upright I'll actually take this as a reversal let's let's get one more there's a renewal in your heart space though and that's great we'll get one more just a continuation of the story here This could be that you're moving on from maybe whatever level of life you were circling on here you you did probably love it okay there was there was love there throughout the whole time and this is something that i have been looking at i've been studying the whole narcissist empath dynamic i am going to bring the narcissist obviously into the archetypes series and you know even if you were circling through and there was just a bunch of narcissistic type people around you or something like that there was love there like at each stage of our lives there was love present that this is something that as i've been going through watching some of these very large narcissistic channels which believe me i love because they've got such appealing titles and they're so fascinating and it's some of that content is just really great but it can be very depressing and it can make you down and it can make you erode the love that was there uh, and and this is true of if you're separating from someone or splitting up from a partner or something like that i am as i say working with a few of you who are going through that process but don't let the bad things that have happened erode the love that was there because there was love there um, they say only love is real and yeah I believe that all else is illusion so let's have a look we've got two of cups reversed how am I going to read that two of cups reversed okay I just got the phrase like not yet or not quite Any more information? Not yet, not quite. We'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> see what comes. Oh, all right. Let's see what's here. Not yet, not quite. We've got three of pentacles. There's more work to do. Okay. Right. I'm sort of getting, you seem to be released from something or something along these lines. Nine of wands. Yeah. what more work is there to be done what's the work what's left it's just like there's just this tiny little something what's left what's left to do and sometimes there's nothing you can do sometimes it's just about timing sometimes life is just about timing and that there's really nothing you can do maybe you, you need to rest let's see it's okay that's coming quite clear tradition tradition this is also Taurus this is family something about family I also did get a phrase family holding you back but again is that a judgment are we judging family see that's what some of those narcissistic channels can leave you feeling can leave a person feeling quite judgmental uh, and sometimes we can be harsh there what might you become we'll come back here don't worry we're, we're not gonna we'll, we'll still look at that but what might what you might become okay let's let's take a look at this what you might become what's in the what did joseph campbell say the creative incubator what's going on in there hopefully it's some good stuff Ooh, blind spot whoa i did not see that coming <laughs> of course i didn't it's a blind spot that's interesting okay 
what you might become. Interesting. And why did this one jump from here to here? Beyond the ego. Right. Surrender to the flow of life. Interesting. We're kind of we're not even getting a look in into what you might become because what's going on here? We've got beyond the ego. We've got some obstacles here. Okay. We've got a blind spot. Got a healing card. Healing, yes. Well, good. I'm glad to see that. All right. Uh, yes. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Oh, well, that's a heck of a full moon there. That's in Pisces. Pisces is the end of the zodiac. I really think what you're completing here is utterly huge, possibly. Well, let's. All right, I want to. I want to take a look more at this. Um, It's a big level of your life. There's some big level of your life that you are that you've outgrown. And it's kind of like I want you to know that there was love throughout it. And that was what was coming from your heart. We've got butterflies here. This is full of butterflies. This is all about transformation. Let's take a look and see. Let's let's go here. Let's have a look at the love. The love, okay, the love that's in your heart. Being guided to look at this deck, we've got Ace of Wands, okay. Yes, the love that's in your heart. Oh, very obvious, okay. Two of Pentacles. Mm. There is something about time here. There's a there's a delay due to timing. Two of Pentacles. Let's see, we'll draw one for here. Draw one for here. What might you become? What are you experiencing? There's a time delay and a little bit more work. That's what I'm feeling. What might you become? Well, don't worry, we'll draw more cards there. <laughs> we need more information there because we're getting some... It's interesting, it's kind of... Like a couple of closed doors here I tend to think we'll, we'll keep digging but let's just see wow remember it's okay to get what you want from life Stuart Wilde yeah the focus has to be what what do you want and part of this burdensome image that we've got here with compensation compensation that word is kind of like I'm also thinking about that word in a financial context it's like we don't want to be compensated we want just pure abundance we want this pure ace of cups but I like this line here. Remember, it's okay to get what you want from life. That's so casual. Yeah, it's okay to get what you want from life. You're allowed. You're allowed. You're allowed to be you. You're allowed to 
And you're allowed to be abundant. You are allowed. What you might become. What do we have here? Disown all things from your heart while taking care of them. Consider them borrowed for use only. Use them with gratitude. Lester Levinson. Wow. Yeah, don't be attached to anything. This, this really does feel like a chunk of ego is about to drop off. Let's take a look what you might become. What you might become. So, okay, let's say, let's say the time has passed. The little bit of work that still needs to be done has been done. The family is fine. They, you know, because it, it, it just might be your perception of them holding you back. But in reality, it might be that no one's holding you back. I was thinking about that this morning, about how when I look at, say, for example, some of the events of my childhood and what I lived, I lived and felt them so differently to everyone else in my family that was there. Everybody else is coming out with a totally different reality. We were all there. We all saw the same things. We were, you know, we were all there, but because of our sensitivity levels that were so different, we each experienced those very same events entirely differently. So there's something about you recognizing that, I think, with the family piece and just recognizing that how I experienced what happened is my personal experience. And I don't expect anyone in my family to understand that because they can't, because they were there, but they, they've got a totally different experience of the same thing. Totally different, totally different, because we all have different sensitivity levels. We're all completely different beings. So how you experienced what happened, there's no way one of your family can, can understand that. So that's an important message there for someone Let's take a look at what you might become. This one's sticking out. What you might become. Wow, fear. And I'm really getting a sense here. This is quite lovely. I'm getting a sense what you might become. You're going to become fearless. I think a chunk of ego is vanishing for you. An absolute chunk. With that, a whole load of fear is going to go with it what you might become I think you're going to become fearless and that ace of cups wow that's just going to be that is going to be the big thing in your life let's have one more card for what you might become or any final guidance we'll get the final guidance card from here we will draw another couple of quotes as well I'm curious to see what's in there what you might become or a piece of final guidance This is going to cut out, so what I'll do is I'll just, I'll stop it and I'll keep shuffling. Okay, I'm going to keep shuffling. <laughs> because I could see that one definitely is popping out, isn't it? Maybe we'll get two cards. We've got a fresh, a fresh thing here. We'll get two cards. This has been an interesting reading, guys. Right, let's take a look at this one first. These two, what are these two? These are two bits of final guidance. That's how I'm going to read them. 
and we'll get one more we'll get one of these for final final guidance <laughs> all right oh wow four of wands yeah th what you might become look I, I, this is terrific that this has come here and you being fearless healing a chunk of ego is leaving balance practicality spirituality at this time i think that's keep your day-to-day -day routine life going it's okay to numb out a bit if you have to just to keep the routine going so numbing out what do i mean by that just not feeling as much sometimes just giving yourself a break from your feelings possibly we do have a lot of cups in there um sometimes we need that and anna runkle talks about that on her channel the crappy childhood fairy she talks about the fact that sometimes people who've got cptsd they actually feel too much and sometimes the solution is not to feel the feelings uh, sometimes it is sometimes healing requires you know you tune into kyle cease and he's very much about feel all the feelings okay as a coach that's what he's about but then anna runkle is like well some cptsd people they shouldn't feel the feelings too much all the time because they, these people actually need a break from that. So it depends where you are. Um, and, you know, as we look into all these things, we mustn't get attached to labels. I never do. Uh, I don't get attached to labels. I try to avoid it anyway. So, you know, like you could watch a ton of her videos and think, oh, I have CPTSD, but then you could watch a ton of you know, um, Sam Vaknin and you go, oh, I'm an empathetic codependent. And like, you know, people have these labels for things, but we're not, we're, we're a little bit of all of these things, you know? And so sometimes you need a break from your emotions. Sometimes you need to feel them. You'll know, your intuition will tell you. Let's see what other final guidance do we have here? Eight of wands, yeah. I think the, the pace of life is going to speed up for you and it feels like there's just a tiny bit of, of something left on this side here so i do think that the speed of life is going to change for you i do think you've got this this four of wands there's some form of happily ever after awaiting you there's some form of reward very close on the horizon here uh, but we'll get one of these and i'll take i'll draw this for this side one last little piece of all right that one wants to be here and then we might draw one more from the jar okay wow yeah a personal issue re reaches resolution full moon in cancer that's beautiful full moon in cancer that's so lovely that and th this is to do with the home this is to do with home this is to do with family life this is to do with you feeling ready to graduate or not need these people as much or um you know and it could be some form of separation for example but it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like the classic boyfriend girlfriend separation or husband wife separation no it could be that you're separating from it could be like a narcissistic parent or something that you're just kind of like happy that okay you you're free to be you I'm gonna go off and, and be me and I don't need your approval as much because I'm learning how to love and approve of myself I'm getting my approval from me is what it feels like over here let's take this is good I think yeah I'm feeling that you are you're on the brink of some amazing things here. Um, let's take one more quote, and that's for this side here, because we know what you're becoming. You're becoming amazing. <laughs> that is for sure. Ah, Stuart Wilde, seriousness is a disease of the ego. Yeah, it is. It is. Interesting. I had another ego thing in there. I'll put this on this side. I feel like we need another one. <laughs> and then I'll wrap up. All right. 
let's see what's in here. I don't know what's in here. It's so funny. I have to, I have to do more quotes for the jar. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> cowboy wisdom. God, these are quirky little ones coming out here. These are all leftover ones. That's why we got all the leftovers. Don't let your yearnings get ahead of your earnings. Okay, cool. Like it. But I think the ultimate message here is that I think there's a big acknowledgement of the work that you are doing. I think you're doing amazingly well. And you're, you're really not far from um, from experiencing the life that you intended, which is you being totally fearless, you being healed, and you enjoying your life to the full. That's where you're headed. I hope this has been a good reading for you, everyone. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. And I look forward to seeing you next time.